Okay. <clears throat> so I wanted to make this video on how to uh, set up and install Toboot onto a PinePhone Pro. Um, I've been wanting to put Toboot onto my PinePhone Pro um, so that I can more easily flash OS's to the built-in EMMC module. Um, when I first got the phone, I accidentally wiped everything, so I've been researching on how to fix my mistake. I finally figured it out. My big issue yesterday when I finally got everything working was when I was looking up tutorials on how to set up Toboot to put onto the phone, they are all on Linux, which I understand. That's, uh, Linux is the way to go, but... Currently I am running Windows, so I thought I'd do a short little Windows tutorial to guide anybody who is on a uh, lesser operating system um, to get their PinePhone Pros installed with Toboot so they can then use the Toboot features um, to more easily install OS is to the internal memory of the phone. It's pretty simple. Pretty much you're going to use Belina Etcher. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Tobu GitHub page. You're going to find the the image. It's not going to be called an image though. It's going to be this right here that I have highlighted. Um, it is pine 64 dash pine phone pro dash mine is 2021.10 dash 004 dot tar dot xe um, that last string of numbers will probably change as newer versions come out uh, but the dot tar dot xe file will not so that is what you're looking for once you download this file from the GitHub page for Toboot, all you have to do is unzip it using your preferred um, software, zip software. I have 7-zip, so I will extract that um, file to my downloads page. Now I have the extracted file on my downloads page. It says the exact same thing as the top one, but instead of ending with .x, Z, it's just dot tar. From here, you can right click it, go to 7-zip again. You're going to open archive. This is going to open it in 7-zip as a file. You can now double click, double click that file. And at the bottom of the list, or of the file, files listed, you're going to see spi.installer.img this is what you actually need to put into Belina Etcher onto your micro SD card to install Toboot to the SPI on the PinePhone Pro to then turn the PinePhone Pro into a USB device for your desktop that you can then use Belina Etcher again to write operating systems to the internal memory. Um, so now that I've highlighted the SPI.installer.img I can just extract it. I'm going to extract it to my downloads. Done. Exit out of that. It will throw that image file back about a month in your downloads folder. So if you have a lot of stuff in your downloads folder like I do, I have to scroll back to about March. There it is, March 5th. And there it is, the SPI.installer image, disk image file. From there, you can now load up Blaina Etcher. Flash from file, bam, open, select your micro SD target, flash, throw it into the PinePhone Pro, load it up, install it to the SPI, and then you now have Tobu installed on your PinePhone Pro from Windows. And that is it. 